what's going on everyone RC84 here and like always thanks for watching well my friends I wanted to get on here and give y'all an update on the project build I uh, been kind of busy here lately so I hadn't been uh, working on the project and hadn't been doing any new videos so I'm very sorry about that just you know everyday life and stuff like that happens but I wanted to uh, talk about the project because I had a few changes uh, in the project of the SDX-10 II here. Now on the first video I did the uh, the shocks which I done these uh, hot racing 100 millimeter uh, internal air shocks and uh, they seem to be you know, doing pretty good. I tested around here in the house uh, but I have not tested them outside yet and uh, I will you know do that here sometime but uh, so far, you know, they do actually pretty good, and the flexibility is great, uh, more clearance and stuff, uh, which I'll show you all some pictures of that, of how much, you know, clearance ability I got from, uh, from stock to aftermarket one. So I'll show you that. But um, the second video is going to be on installing the rims and tires. Now, I originally was going to go with these 1.9 G made bead like rims. If you guys can see this right here, let me try to get the camera to, to zoom up on that or focus on it if it will. Uh, somewhat. <laughs> but uh, these are a three piece set, as you can see. And uh, I was going to go with these, but then I was looking online the other day, well, actually last week, and I was looking at some different rims and stuff, and I came across a set of rims and tires that were pretty awesome and I had to get these. Uh, they were only like $21 for a four, a four pack of them. Not four pack, <laughs> yeah, four pack, all right? So I, I ended up picking up these, uh, I think, AU Star, R Star, Original Factory Team Parts. Uh, these things look pretty nice. Uh, as you can see, if I can get it up there, these are actually beadlock rims. Same thing like the GMA three piece set. Uh, so uh, this seemed really cool. Now I'm gonna have open up the package just so you can see. But these, my friends, are super awesome little tires because look at it. You might uh, you might recognize that pattern. Uh, if I can get the camera to focus, focus camera, focus on not me, focus on the tire. <laughs> but these are actually the Super Swamper TSLs, uh, TSLs but in a knockoff version. There are the Super Swamper Rock Tie. Tie? <laughs> I guess it was say tire, but I guess they could not do that because of copyright laws or whatever. But uh, look at this. Here's the original one from Proline Racing. This is an actual Super Swamper TSL uh, SX and C. And then you have the other version here. And if I can get the camera to zoom up on it or focus on it, focus. I'll have to switch to manual mode to get this thing to focus right so you guys can see that. All right, there we go. All right, so look at this. ProLine's edition and then this company's edition, same exact tire, feels almost exactly the same, a little bit maybe, I you know, these are older tires. So, uh, so yeah, so a little bit older tire. But uh, it feels like the same kind of tread, uh, well not the same type of rubber, the G8 compound. Uh, but look at these things. Pretty awesome. Same tread pattern as the Super Swamper TSLs. Um, and I mean, yeah. <laughs> 20 bucks for these, my friends. And it came with the rims. And I saw the rims, I was like, you know what? That would pretty, like, look pretty good on the, uh, on the SCX-10. Now I've gone ahead and I mounted one of the G-Made wheels on the uh, the other Super Swamper TSLs that I got, which are these uh, 1.9 XL versions. If you see that, all right. <laughs> so uh, original one from Proline, and these are the Proline ones as well. As you see, a little bit bigger tire, a uh, little bit wider, but it fits on your 1.9 uh, wheel. So that's awesome that uh, ProLine came up with that. So that's what I'm actually gonna be using on the build or on the project here. Now I've gone ahead and, like I said, I installed one onto the truck just to kind of like get an idea of exactly what it's gonna look like and stuff. So as you see, the GMA wheels and that nice big aggressive tire. Look at it. All right, front version, there you go. Here's the stock wheels and the aftermarket ones from ProLine. 
a little bit more beefier tire, a lot wider. And all I have uh, experienced one thing when I was testing this out, just riding around in the room here, is that actually when you're turning in like this right here, it'll actually uh, rub up against my uh, bottom uh, suspension link here if you can if I can get a good angle of it but it'll actually rub against this bar which is not a problem really because it's just rubber going up against uh, the steel pole here so it's not going to tear anything up at least I don't think it is <laughs> right? don't hold me to it I don't think it will but uh, you know only when I'm turning really sharp wise it'll you know rub against it but not a big deal so i just kind of like not have to really turn too much <laughs> but uh what's the fun in that you know all right so yeah so um but yeah nice little wheels like i said you get four of them for only 21 dollars it was and the cool thing about these uh there are some parts in here let me pull them out for you let me show you real quick it actually even has the hubcaps for it if you can see it I'll try to get the camera to focus if it does all right let's get this this uh, let's see focus <laughs> all right it doesn't want to focus but uh, yeah but it has the center caps that go over it to hide all the little 